cafe latte? What would you like? Ugh, finally. I've been waiting in line forever. Could you move any more slowly? Sure, but I doubt that's what you actually want. What are you ordering? I want a soy latte. Soy with caramel and chocolate. And I want something to eat. We don't serve food here. You're a cafe. What kind of stupidity led you to make that decision? Because if mortals eat our food, they stop hungering for earth-made food and thus starve to death. Does not seem to apply to liquids, though. Also, if we were in the fairy realm and you ate our food, you'd be stuck there forever. And none of us want that. What kind of policy is that? I demand to speak. Speak with the manager? You're speaking to her. And that's just the laws of the fairy realm that have been around for thousands of years. There's no change in them. We just work with them. Now, soy latte with caramel and chocolate? May I have your name? <sighs> it's Karen. Wait. Shut up. Now, the traditional punishment is seven years of physical lameness. I guess the modern term would be chronic pain and fatigue, but I think seven years of silence is far better for you. If you still want the latte, it's 450. Next. Welcome to Fay Latte. What are we getting? Yeah, hi. Um, I've got finals and a double shift happening in the next 24 hours, so can I just get whatever has the most concentration of caffeine in your biggest size? One extra large Eldritch Smash coming up. Don't let the name scare you, it's just an Americana latte with a drop of Eldritch blood. You won't sleep for three days. Oh, that is absolutely perfect. Um, where's the tip jar? This is a Faye-run establishment, so everything's about fair exchange. I work for well above minimum wage, and tips are, by definition, extra or gifts that we just don't feel comfortable with. There is a tip jar, but it's magic, and it only appears in certain cases where extra compensation is called upon according to the rules of Faye or how nasty of a Karen we're dealing with. Damn. Are you hiring? No, we're fully staffed. Here's your smash. That'll be 570 Awesome. Thank you. Wait. Oh, neat. Can you break a 20? Welcome to Cafe Latte. Would you like to try some of our new specials today? Uh, yeah, actually. I thought the unicorn frappuccino was just a Starbucks thing. They have their version. We have ours. Oh, does yours come with the actual blood of a unicorn? Yes. Um, what, what you kill unicorns? Yes, they're vicious bastards who deserve to die, every one of them. But unicorns are beautiful, enchanting creatures who are all about virtue and being nice, and they hang out around virgin girls. They do like virgin girls. Apparently they taste better. They what now? Unicorns have worked very hard the last few centuries to create that lovely little PR image you just spewed out. Makes it a lot easier for them to find and trap victims. Victims? Victims for what? You know that? Mass grave that they just dug up a few cities over that was all bones and the police are saying that it's probably a serial killer. It's... is it? Look closely enough and you can see the teeth marks on the bones. Huh. So, did you want that in a medium or a large? I think I just want some green tea. Nice, soothing, calming tea. Hi, welcome to Cafe Latte. It's Werewolf Awareness Week, so for every purchase, we donate a dollar to the Lycanthropy Foundation to help those in need. Cool. Um, I'm actually here for something else. I heard that you have, like, legit fey powers. Oh, is this about the Karen incident? Look, fey laws are different from mortal laws, yes, but we work very hard to make sure that we don't break any human rules while in your realm. So while Cafe Latte will never be responsible for a dead or enslaved human, although personally I can think of a number of Karens who would benefit from having to work behind the counter for a few centuries, I will use my powers to silence her for a minimum of seven years to give everyone else a break. No, 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 no. I, I am not with law enforcement or whatever. Um, I'm non-binary, so I was wondering what happens if I gave you my dead name. Oh. Oh. Um, well, I wouldn't be able to do anything with it. By definition, it's a dead name. So even if I wanted to curse or control you permanently, it wouldn't work. Could you, like, erase it from the world? Some of my relatives keep purposefully deadnaming me, and the legal BS to get it properly changed is driving me up a wall. I can. That's powerful magic, though. It'll take a chunk out of me, and I will demand a fair price. Such as... One of my employees is on vacation this weekend. They're dipping back into the fairy realm for a wedding. I need someone to cover them. Just, just three days of labor. 
And we're talking human days here, not one of those, I spent a week in the Fey realm and came back to Earth several centuries later. You will not once leave the mortal realm. It is only three human days, one eight-hour shift per day. It might go up to nine if cleanup is bad. And if you come in the day before, we can do some training ahead of time to make it easier. Deal. So you can call me JC, it's short for Jennifer Charles, but my dead name is... So, Cafe Latte is pretty standard cafe by mortal standards. If you've ever worked at a Starbucks or a Caribou Coffee, we've got a very similar setup. Oh, I used to work at the coffee shop across the street from my college campus. Perfect! Then you pretty much know how this works. We don't sell food because if a mortal eats fairy food, you stop hungry for anything else and eventually starve to death. Doesn't seem to work with drinks. I'm not even going to try to attempt smoothies, that's just asking for trouble. But we do allow people to bring in outside food. There's a bakery down the street that's pretty popular. Why not hire mortal chefs or buy prepackaged stuff? No space, and for a while, no money. We are tiny. It was just me and two other fairies sick of the Fey Realm's BS. Everything over there is dancing all night and music and stealing shiny stuff, and it's just exhausting. And food service isn't? I don't have to deal with an entire court of prissy fairy nobles in food service. And I get to curse Karens who try to make my life miserable. Speaking of Karens, the number one rule of Cafe Latte is to be polite. So if a customer is acting like an ass, let me know, I'll deal with them. Uh, excuse me. Hi. I was wondering what the password is for the Wi-Fi? Uh, nothing in the store is free. Wi-Fi is for paying customers or people who give a one dollar toll. Oh, that is bullshit! That is the law of Fay. If you don't like it, there's the door. Well, you just lost yourself a customer. And you just lost the ability to have a steady Wi-Fi connection for the next month. Rule number one. Noted. Wait, can you actually curse them like that? They didn't even give you their name. Names are good for controlling people. Like if I wanted to puppet that person around, then yeah, I'd need a name. Or if I wanted the curse to be permanent, lasting for the rest of their lives, I would need a name. But for general curses or blessings, you just have to be in that fairy's domain. Usually their home or workplace. Oh! Oh, cool. So what are your most popular drinks? I want to make a few now so they're easier for me to remember later. And here's your drink. Thank you for coming to Cafe Latte. Thank you. That is much appreciated. Oh, don't worry. I'm a human employee, not the Fae. I don't think the magic tip jar appears for me. Oh, I don't mind the magic tip jar. I really kind of like how it just kind of blorps in and out of existence. The problem is that I can't afford to tip today. This latte is my indulgence for the week, and it pisses me off. Oh, yeah, I get that. Like, you want to tip the person because they're working minimum wage in food service on their feet all day, and they deserve the tip. But you can't because you also work minimum wage, and you need the rest of your cash for, like, gas money. Exactly! And then you feel bad and embarrassed and also low-key don't want them to get angry at you for not tipping because they might think you're one of those assholes who just doesn't tip on principle because I'm not responsible for paying them. Right! You humans need to get your act together. We, we know. know. Hi, welcome to Cafe Latte. We close in five minutes, so the espresso machine has been shut down. But we have other options. Tea, chai, water. <laughs> a little advice, ma'am. You should smile at your customer. You'd be so much prettier and might get a bigger tip. I am at the tail end of a ten-hour shift. We close in five minutes, and it is taking all of my energy not to curse you, your children, and grandchildren. Now what are you ordering? Hey, I'm just being honest and helpful. You're being sexist and creepy. Se creepy? Listen, lady, I've flirted with several women who worked as baristas or waitresses or whatever, and they've always smiled and enjoyed it. Oh my god, so you came on to women who literally have no way of escape? who can't leave the situation because they're stuck on shift for another four hours. She can't extricate herself from that situation. And she has to smile and play along because if she doesn't, you're going to get aggressive, or worse, or her manager might get involved. And if that manager is as much of a pig as you are, then she has no means of escape. Well, they started flirting first. Just because a woman is being polite to you does not mean she's flirting with you. Especially if she works food service where being polite is her literal job. <laughs> well, they can still enjoy it. You know what? You're cursed. Seven years, no sex. What? What? You will be chronically unable to get laid for the next seven years no matter how hard you try or until you treat women like people. Oh, you're being so dramatic and lying. I am Faye. Go try it. I will. 
Could you do that to a couple of my ex-boyfriends? Hi, welcome to Cafe Latte. Just a heads up, you've caught the newbie, so I'll do my best, but if it's a complicated order, I'm gonna have to get my manager. Ha ha! Now you can't trick me into selling my soul to you over a coffee. Um, okay, first of all, we have no interest in your soul, just the three or four dollars that coffee costs, depending on size. Secondly, if we did want your soul, that's probably not gonna help you. Third, I'm human, not fey. Oh my god, are you enslaved? No, I'm working off a debt. Actually, today's the last day, but I'm hoping I can talk my manager into taking me on at least part-time, or to, like, buy some bakery goods that I can make at home. Th why would you ever willingly work with these... these demons? Oh, excuse you? You need to act more like Jesus. Oh, I try. I question authority, I volunteer to help out those in need, I've made friends with a bunch of hookers and beggars, I haven't figured out how to turn water into wine, but I can make a handful of fish and crackers last way longer than they should thanks to chronic poverty. Don't forget flipping tables and whipping people who desecrate your temple. Is that where I'm going wrong? That's not what Jesus stood for. Honey, I have met Jesus. That's absolutely what he's about. Oh, you're lying. Fairies can't lie. Uh, how old are you? Are we talking fey years or human years? Because time works differently across the realms. I believe that by human standards, I'm around 5,000 years old, give or take a few centuries. By fairy years, I'm only about 1,200. Anyway, are you done trying to insult my worker because you're holding up the line? I can help whoever's next while this situation is being handled. Oh, vanilla latte, please. Uh... I'm not actually going to lose my soul for this, am I? Honestly, probably not. Eh, it'd be worth it, anyway. I mean, the entertainment alone. Call me a demon? Enjoy looking like one for the rest of the week. <laughs> now, what was that about selling baked goods? So, I know you said that you're already fully staffed and I was only working this weekend to pay off my debt for erasing my dead name from existence and that if a fairy makes food that a human eats, that human is cursed to eat only fey food forever. And that when you first started Cafe Latte, you did not have the money or resources to purchase human-made food or the space to store and display them. However, I've noticed that some things have changed and I had an idea. Go on. So there are a lot of smaller baked goods that I can make that can be stored in the back. All you need is a couple of them out here on the counter for displays, or even just a picture of them. Things like uh, chocolate truffles or little bags of cookies. Things that would not require you to provide and clean up any dishes and would go really well with your beverages. You wouldn't have to buy any of the ingredients, you're just purchasing them already made and packaged from me. And what would be your price for these desserts? Well, the good news is the ingredients are really cheap. Chronic poverty, remember? The truffles are just three to four ingredients, and I can get multiple batches out of a single shopping trip, so it's mostly my labor we're haggling over. So, what's your hourly rate? How good are your desserts? I'll bring some samples by tomorrow. 